Bar Harbor is a small town just outside of Acadia National Park in Maine. There are countless tourist towns across America, but there are few I would recommend, let alone do an entire video on. But Bar Harbor is that special. Before I dive into the town of Bar Harbor, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell icon to get notifications when new videos are uploaded. Acadia National Park basically surrounds the town of Bar Harbor. You want to go to both Acadia and Bar Harbor, so be sure to check out my video on Acadia. Like all tourist towns, Bar Harbor provides lots of options to buy souvenirs, eat great food, and provide lodging and camping. The National Park campgrounds didn't have any availability, but we were able to book a private campground just a few miles outside of downtown Bar Harbor and Acadia. Hadley's Point Campground was convenient and their Wi-Fi was blazing fast. The shuttle that runs through the National Park makes a stop right in the campground. One negative is that they put us in the Section D, which has grassy campsites. That can be nice, but the campers that had our site before us were probably there for the summer and probably had a large mat they put down on the ground. So after you pull away the trailer and the mat that's been there all summer, we pulled into a dirt site that became muddy with the light rains we had. If you go to Maine, you're pretty much obligated to have a lobster dinner. Over 130 million pounds of lobster are pulled from the waters of Maine each year. I much prefer crab over lobster, at least, that's what I thought. We had an incredibly good lobster dinner at Galleons. I had a combo seafood platter, and Darlene had a lobster roll. It was the best lobster dinner we had this trip, or ever. Beyond the shopping, fresh bakeries, and dining, Bar Harbor provides something that other tourist towns like Gatlinburg or Estes Park don't offer, and that is scenery. When in Bar Harbor, there are two must-see sites. The first is the Bar Harbor Shore Path. This path is less than a mile and runs along the shore in front of the hotels and homes of the town. The path starts at the town pier and heads off to the right. The boats moored in the harbor make a beautiful foreground of the Porcupine Islands in the distance.
Along the path is Balance Rock, sitting oddly out of place. When you get to the end of the path, you can turn around and walk back along the shore, or, as I suggest, you can head inland and walk down Main Street back to the town pier, checking out the stores and shops along the way. Darlene liked Dolly's jewelry store. They had a great selection of silver jewelry at reasonable prices. Darlene found some nice earrings for herself. The second must-see site in Bar Harbor is Bar Island. It is an island offshore which you can access at low tide. On the island, a trail climbs to the highest point where you get a view of the town of Bar Harbor. We are at the land bridge to Bar Island in Bar Harbor, Maine. Downtown Bar Harbor, looking off there to the right. And at high tide, this is underwater. God is our refuge and strength, a very ready help in times of trouble. Whatever your trouble, call out to God and he will be your safe harbor. Just remember to get off the island and cross the land bridge back to Bar Harbor before the tide comes back in. Otherwise, you'll need to swim back or wait on the island until the next low tide. We were surprised to see seagulls diving into the shallow water to eat starfish. So if you're planning a trip to Acadia, be sure to include time to enjoy the town of Bar Harbor, the gateway to Acadia National Park. Thanks for watching.